Mademoiselle. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's play some music. Yeah. Oh. Can I try to impress you with my lighting? Oh, please. Try that. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that's see. cool. Look at that. Now, let me play. I'm just testing if we're on the YouTube, Twitter. And we're on everywhere. Okay. So yeah, so impress me with your lightning. It's red, or it's purple, and this one's blue. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Do you want me to do other colors? <laughs> <laughs> well, blue and pink. It's mostly pencil and paper colors. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just getting that perfect fuchsia. It's hard. Oh, that's it. You have a glowy, glowy plant. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> nice and organic, right? <laughs> Future of nature. Yeah. So do you have something to drink? No? Oh. Uh, ah, what are you doing? I'm moving this out of the way. Okay. It's too much. Uh, yeah, I just have like a little bit of water. Water. Little little water. I should have gotten caffeinated for this though, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this time it's Friday. It's time, yeah. Why? And I we're... don't know. Uh, let's try Friday because No, I just mean we're we're feeling Oh, we're feeling a Friday. Feeling the maybe we should we we have that fun energy on Friday. Because you know? we don't have any fun energy, you know, Mondays, you... Yeah, because we're such um, stoic people, usually. <laughs> These hangers are known to be stoic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're always just straight-laced, not weirdos. Just, like, you know, super rigid. Uh, well, actually... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, be before you go on, because we're already digging a hole that is too deep. Oh no! Let's <laughs> let's get down to business. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, fix a problem together. Um, I need, I need to find something online on Yaxa so I can change very. Uh, no, last week and. Are we live now? Oh, we live since you know three four minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why I was having so much fun. <laughs> So. Great. <laughs> <sighs> so we found a problem on UX Stack Exchange. It's about what is about sorting, selecting on tables. I know you kind of want to work on something that is not a, not a table, but you're good at it. No, no, for real. I think <laughs> I can make you work on other tables for the rest of your life, and it will say probably you know exactly. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a boring data table. I'm not putting that on a t-shirt. <laughs> That's going to get edited out of this <laughs> for the final version. <laughs> so Matt um, asked a question a couple of years ago. Uh, but still, I think it's relevant. So let's take a look at it, write a, a problem statement about it, and try to fix it together. So best approach to having a sort, select, and a set of action buttons is on a table row. So... Okay, I have a bit of a table to achieve, and I'm sure. Okay, great. I have a small table of files. Files. Okay, good. Files. Okay. Usually, at, uh, yeah, not more than 10. Um, one of the five must be toggle as a primary file, okay, to be used for something else. Okay, so it's possible to toggle old file that's active. Okay, so I need to toggle one file, okay. So each row will have a radio select, whatever it is. Okay, I can select a row. Make it active. Great. The file will also need to be draggable so they can be dragged to other file categories. Okay, got it. So you have categories and you move it to a category and you make it primary. So below, I have an example. So grab and all, active radio, file details, and then delete. Great. So the question. Oh, many questions. First, I need to know, as a general rule, it's best practice to put all action buttons on the right. Let's talk about it. 
So this may even include the active radio. Okay. However, I've seen some tables that select on the far left. Expect in endel uh, bar. Okay, that's right. You can select on the left, but you also, you know, the endel bar to change this, uh, to move it, uh, to move the position, select next to the other. So, what would be the best approach? What's the problem here? Let's let's write now. Let's write it down. I'm following you. What's the problem? What do you think is the problem? Hmm. Well, without dragging, the, the problem is, is it okay with an action on the right and select on the left? Now, if I have this end all bar, I have two actions on the left. Is it, is it okay? So maybe the problem is I do have too many, maybe. What's happening on the left versus on the right? And you know, how can we... <laughs> And we also like, and in general, where it feels like a lot of stuff is getting manipulated, right? So, but it doesn't feel like it's a super complex uh, table necessarily. No. At most, yeah. there'd be like 10. Um, 10, 10 per categories or just 10 in general? I think. He says, all table files usually at most there would be about 10 files. One of the files must be taught file to be used for the category it belongs to. It's possible to toggle old files as active, so each row will have radio select. The files will also need to be draggable so they can be dragged to other file categories. So I need to handle, um, I need a handlebar handlebar for uh, dragging of some kind. So I'm going to say something wild. I know we're still, we're still framing our question, yeah. but um, do uh, we need a table here? <gasps> That's um, your favorite question, Benoit. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't say it. <laughs> I see. Um, but still, the problem is not... But really, that's not... You know, not exactly. Problem. Exactly. So the problem is... Well, the goal, the, the, the user task is to move file in the right category and apply it as a primary file. So as a user, I want to move files in categories and, act, and, and make a file... No, just change the state of the file. You know? Yeah. Um, share share of the file. But now I'm curious in one context. Is it important, critical? What kind is this is just to organize stuff? That's kind of important also in the context of uh, you know, if uh, you're moving something and now it's live on you know, web, mm -hmm. that's kind of important. If it's just so we have to make some assumption right now. Um, yeah. yeah. So I think that since um, since the person said that there has to be an active one, there has to be an active file mm -hmm. um, per category. I think that's what they're saying is like there has to be one active file per category. I would think that that's like it's. Um, maybe a a live system that the file is feeding could be so many different kinds of input files um but we we could assume that the file needs to be used in the system okay <clears throat> Let, let's let's figure out the question so if i'm well the intensity of, of this interaction if i'm moving something is it live like right now everywhere when I need to, you know, confirm something, do I need to prove something? Is it, is it very critical? Because that's kind of important right now. If I'm yeah. moving something the right category, so that I don't know, um, it's part of a the thing here. Because if, for example, you're moving a, you know, a contract to another category, and you apply it, 
it's kind of a big deal. If you're just moving an image in a blog post, you know, it's a little bit different. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know what might be kind of cool? Um, I know that we we are going to define our problem statement, but we'd also have maybe some other questions that would that we could oh. capture oh, as part of sure. part of that. So I can, I'll just put like a little problem. Yeah, problem. I'll put a question also. Let's just put it in orange or something. Mm -hmm. I already made it light brown. Good. But I can make That's it good. orange too. Oh. You know, it, if you like it, it's fine. Um, you, you, I never ask someone what's your favorite question, uh, color and they say light brown. Light brown. <laughs> if someone so, say it, I will just say, okay, you're, you don't have to be my friend. You know. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Light brown is your favorite color? <sighs> the, okay. That would be weird because it's it's one of those ones you see them in houses or like, any, you know, a beige that's like not yellow. It's not white. It's like a in between. And it's, you know, some people it's like, that's the color you choose when you don't want to choose a color. So if someone chose like a light brown, it's kind of the same idea. Like you just, you don't want to answer the question. Or you're just a dad and you're fine. And you're searching for, you know, shorts. That's something. Shorts. Like that. Well, that's different. <laughs> your favorite color of shorts is a lot different than your favorite color. <laughs> These are different kinds of questions. Example contract. Um, um, example. Or like uh, another uh, con contract versus a blog post image or versus I, it made me I, for some reason think about like a DevOps sort of situation where you know they have like different um, settings files mm. that go into things um, but if it was something that complicated I'm sure they would have talked about like talked about the stakes of that a um, little you bit think more. It's, it's part of a, of a workflow somehow, or you change, you know, the state or position, and that's it. It's active. Well, it's interesting because if something has to be has to be the primary file for the category it belongs to, um, it's like a semi high stakes situation. <laughs> feels like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not quite um i don't know if it's part of a workflow it seems it like, like it i yeah i would have the impression uh given its full format and stuff it's probably like just a static page but um but that's a great question let's put that in yeah so as a software user i need to manipulate the factory and state Brown would be a file, so I can change the category and state of a process. Of a process? What do you mean? I don't know what it is. You know why you're doing that? What's a process? Oh, I, it's maybe not a process. It's maybe yeah. I don't know what it is. I know what it's for. Um, oh, here. Okay, as part of a process. <laughs> process. That's it's good enough. Go. Okay, so I just want to manipulate Mom. file, and I want to change the category and, and state. That's it. So he proposed to make it to do something visually with you know a drag and drop type of thing, and active is the right solution. Let's talk about it now. Okay, so. Okay. And now let's let's design something. You said it's not necessarily a table, and that's yeah. interesting. Why? Why? Not? What? Why? Well, because you know they don't mention. There's a whole bunch of data. This is a file. Mm -hmm. Files are often manipulated, yeah, from lists and stuff. Um, but tables are really optimized for like scanning data in detail and comparing metadata between things across rows and columns and all of that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, data tables can sometimes just be like a default 
UI mechanism you used be just because it's there. Um, but the I'm not because the use case is so oriented around manipulating these things and we're talking about drag and drop and stuff like that. It feels like maybe this is, is not necessarily having to be a table. And I said position a couple of times, but there's no position. And no, there's no order. Just mm -hmm. changing, moving something to another bucket and yeah. make one file a part, uh, active in this cluster of files. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and there's only 10. That was my other part 10, about exactly. the table. <laughs> so, so let's see if I can re hmm. read in your mind. If it's not a data table, what about? Cards. Oh, cards! Wow. <laughs> yes, you got it. <laughs> I wow! Be fired today. Um, <laughs> good. So let's build, you know, a couple of cards and see where we we, we go with that. Because, of course, you have actions, uh, but it's just edit or delete. So you can, you know, just manipulate one object, one card. Um, yeah. So you have to make a decision choose a card and do something. It's not a multi-edit type of interaction. You don't have any bulk uh, actions here. You just select the right one and do something with this. And the do is make it active, not active. Um, I think, by the way, it's just one active item. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I think it's mutually exclusive. Kind yeah, of thing. Mutually yeah. Exclusive. make it mutually exclusive and change the category. So. Why should I grab it and move it somewhere even, you know? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. yeah. So why don't I just note down a couple of our rationale mm. here? Um, so we're going to say, actually, I'll make this a little bit different. Um, this doesn't warrant a table view. Why? Few items few data points visual scanning <laughs> not required oh yes thank you benoit shameless plug design rationale is cool and you should definitely document it and think about it as an example of design rationale happening right now uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this doesn't warrant a ta table view necessarily so we've got few items few data points uh visual scanning not required and then what are you putting down uh comparing is not you know ah uh, yes i mean it's not the uh mental model here i'm not comparing it's not made of but 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 yeah yeah, I'm not that. comparing items, a few items. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's give it a try. Um, so I just created this wireframe, and it just has a title that says "My Fave Files mm -hmm. Page." Um, so we know we need a we need a card with some info on it, and we know that we probably need to represent some categories. Oh, so why don't I just try putting this as category one? So your first thought is to categorize, categorize cards, even if we only have 10. Well, they have to be categorized, right? Yeah. So why categorizing them into a cluster? Why not just I had the made out of data on the card saying this is the category? Yeah, we could do. Yeah, we could do either either one of those it depends i guess that would really it's be dependent on how many categories there actually are there can't be that many because if there's only ever like more than 10, 10 then that means that maybe we can assume that there's like three categories or four let's let's say in which case then i would say we wouldn't necessarily want to do headers like that okay the classic classic you know first thing we not classic but the first thing we could do is just Put a drop down it's the best i don't know so category a so we'd say okay now this file name whatever it is uh, this is the category a is the best let's revisit that later but you know i can just change the category quickly it's a drop down it's easy 
There's mm. better ways. I can you know, click on a query, have a pop-up, select if there, there's more than, than 10. Um, if the only one or two or one or three, four categories, maybe a drawdown is not the best. I don't know right now. So just let's, let's run with that. Activate, of course, a toggle. Uh, it's good. And now the question, what do you think? Do you think that when I activate something, it's just within the category? What do you mean? If, if I'm activating, um, you know, a uh, fine name, this fine name, am I, is it primary for just category A or uh, it's primary for every category? Oh, I don't know. I think that it's primary per category. So does it make That's sense? That's my now? feeling. No, it does. It does make sense. You think? Yeah, I think so. Because you could have, um, like, say you had another one, file name 22, um, and they're both the same category, then this one, this would just go to off. Because there could be multiple files within that category, but only one of them can be primary. But Great. Okay. Uh, let's argue a little bit. Let's critique it because if you select things here, this one for uh, category, uh, the screen will blink, you know, right? So I kind of need to know. That's that's the thing I, I, I feel. I kind of need to know which file belong to which category. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> they kind of need to be clustered together somehow. Yeah. So going back to what you have, I think it's a safe bet. Hey. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm moving I there. Think... Okay, I'm clustering them, but I can I, I can still have this uh, component to change. So yeah. I'm... So then you have a. Yeah, that's. I think that's where my where my instinct was because also if you're doing drag and drop, then you can drag them places. Like there's a place for the category to exist that you could drag it into. Good. So do we need that? Yeah, I think so. Because we need we need a uh, non drag and drop choice as well. Got it. As well. So you would like to have both. Yeah, usually when we design like a drag and drop, mm -hmm. um, you make sure that you have an alternative <laughs> in the mix. Um, so that's kind of what I'm suggesting because we could have lots of weird cases with different implementations. Like, you know, you can't even, you have a keyboard in certain things if they're like on premise and you have performance issues, but also there's the access piece of things. Um, so do we have a, lots of reasons to have a good contingency in there. Do we have something about drag and drop? I think. Oh, oh, interesting. I think we have an article about drag and drop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was written by your, you know, by Kira. So take a look at it. It's <laughs> there's a lot of content here. I love to learn. <laughs> there's about. a lot um, of content here. So yeah. So an alternative is is kind of a critical. You're right. So drag and dropping is is a bonus right now. So yeah, totally. You could if you want it to, to to feel it, to move it, uh, or you can just change the category. That's one. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, what else do we have in this? Uh, in this item, we have file details, whatever it means, um, and we have actions. So we have an edit button, edit, and we have a delete. Button. Oh, do we have delete as well? Yeah. I'll just make them small. Um, and yeah. it was kind of right, you know, action on the right of a, of a row. It's good practice. Let's see now for a card where, where it is, where it should be. Uh, well, yeah. Well, it so all that's... depends on the OS, you know? Yeah. And also, I think it, it depends on how important you want to present these as because, or if, if there's going to be more functionality that ends up happening, um, more actions yeah. that you could do, <clears throat> right? Down. I would say, or... I'll say, uh, think about consistency. Where are you getting most of your actions in your platform? If they are on the right, you know, 
find it. If you have other cards, yeah, matter. you know, yeah. try to find consistency and think about the importance. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think an overflow menu. You think it's important? I am. Or just <laughs> scope creeping stuff, designer? No, I'm. I'm just. Uh... <laughs> This just uh, thinking about scalability of actions kind of that are exposed on cards, right? I, so my question would be if there was more functionality oh, coming, like gone. export or... You're cutting off. I'm gone? Oh. oh, I feel like I'm here. Oh, okay. It was me. Sorry. So... Oh, okay. Uh, you said overflow. You want... You yeah, said I was... scaling a design. I said you scope creeping stuff, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's all true. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that if it's if it does grow or if these are really, really rare or not very important or whatever too, yeah. um, then an overflow menu could be a really nice thing because if these are too high in visual hierarchy, then it's gonna seem like these are the really, really important things to do here. Yeah. But um I don't think that's true. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But yeah, that's a great, uh, great thing that you're thinking about, Benoit, which is the um, organizing information and kind of separating things out in a card, right? That's kind of where you're going with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as more elements come into it, you have more reason to maybe so delineate between things and make things obviously separate from each other. By the way, do you think the uh, thanks? Uh, do you think that uh, one of the main tasks is to switch it to primary or to change the category? I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess it kind of depends. Actually, mm -hmm. it could come up here around defaults, um, because you know if you added a new, say you upload a file or a file gets added to your system automatically or something. Um, if it can't be in a state where there's no selected, then that would mean for a new category, you'd have to have some default, uh, kind of decisions made is where I'm going with that. Does that make sense? I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> so no. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm, I, I, we just don't have That's enough okay. information about the content. Yeah, we don't. We, we just we don't. don't. So I would say, you know, if the primary action is to <laughs> make it a primary file, uh, put it first, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and now you... I'm just concerned about the file name details. Do we need to compare things when we're looking at, well, but 10 files, just 10 files. Uh, I don't think that there's that much detail about the file. Uh, maybe the weight, the size, the type, what else? I don't see anything else. So yeah. I think it's good enough. Or like last. Yeah. I would even think that we, we shouldn't even display it, you know, put it in the read more or whatever or something like that. I'm not sure even it's, it's important. Yeah. It, it has to be the first uh, item in, in the cart. Um, so it could be even... Something like this, no. I don't know what's more important. So more user research, try to understand how they are using it and all. So that's one. Um, okay, just let's duplicate it because no, it's pretty much not usable. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's up. Yeah, oh. exactly. And what about if their file name is very long, like that? Oh, just let it run right off the page. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the guidance. <laughs> yeah, let's let's have an example. Mm -hmm. Just make it so that it's it fits the width of the container, so that you have tiny ones and like really big ones. And oh, so you're that... gonna wrap it. Okay, I guess that can work too. Oh. Wrap it. Is that what you're? Or... Is that what you're I don't think you can do that with file names. I feel like that's a not allowed. What about if it's a title of a card, and we are using mm. a masonry type of card? That's one thing I would love to talk about. Okay, just mm. between you and I, because just between Tell you me. and I today is people want the cards. You know, same height everywhere. So it's a beautiful yeah. grid. It's all equal and all, but I don't understand why. 
I don't understand this 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 approach. Why the need when you're in a car? You're not comparing something. You're not you know putting books on the shelf or thing like that. You're just having a lot of content. And this is where you know there's a Pinterest type of browsing where you're just you know having yeah stuff you know trying to you and sometimes it's longer sometimes it's and it's adaptive and that's good but when we're proposing mastery most people say oh it's not a line there's no really need if it's a car to be a line because the goal is to play with a couple of you know, objects in front of you some 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 will have more info some will have less and i think it's even good using size as you know more stuff in it it's visual it's kind of important. And so if you don't want to, to make it, you know, the same height, you'll have to put read more and, and, and scroll, scrolling stuff inside of it just because you feel it's not a line. And yeah, yeah, that's my pet peeve. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I, it probably comes down to designer preference as well. If it's a design preference, I don't, li I don't like this ar ar argument. Yeah. Because, because why? It's, it shouldn't be like that, you know? Well, I mean, you could say that the long ones are going to waste space if you had specific layouts, right? If it's not masonry. Yeah, it's, a, it's um, not masonry, right. You know, like that's where I think it gets sort of like, it just looks like a tooth, you know, coming down weird. But if it's in just a row or like a, you know, um, but it's true because variability in, an, in a UI gives you landmarks or unique things that you're seeing right um so there's there's probably a really pragmatic kind of argument for recognition of things based on their quirks like that you know like the really long one oh it's near the really long one the mm -hmm. thing that i want to look at mm -hmm. or you know whatever that situation is so a little bit of like uniqueness to those ui elements like i totally see what you mean yeah and just aligning things is is not enough as a a good experience. Yeah. I would say though, um, slightly different things might as well be aligned. <laughs> that would be my slightly. Yeah. If they just look like they're broken, you know, just uh, oh, this one is just like four pixels longer than the one beside it. That looks like uh, you just didn't QA your product. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's another context. Right? Uh, that's absolutely. another context, uh, but exactly. yeah, yeah. Um, let's say, for example, I have a note, or someone is having comment somewhere. It's kind of important. If I am putting a comment, yeah. you know, the card will be bigger. It's kind of interesting to well, well, why is it's one big? Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, someone comment on it. It's part of the experience. But yeah, uh, so that's one. Uh, what's wrong with this design? You think? Let's just poke at it. Hmm. Well, my big question is around, I don't know, the default behavior of when you bring a file in. That's kind of my question. Where oh, does yeah. it go? <laughs> <clears throat> like, does it, do you have to, upon uploading a file, say, like, do you have to put a category on it right away and a primary? Like, are you forced to do that? Or do we have a weird floating state where the file can be in a weird state? It's true. That's my question. It's true. So that's like a big, potentially big part of the equation to this. Yeah. Oh, Ralph. That's how you could break it. I don't think <laughs> for, sure. for me is uh, it's a file, but I should have some kind of a um, preview of what's in the file right now. If it's in card, something, because it's not just about the main meaning of the file. It, has to be something else. So let's say it's it's a blog header uh, template. You know, an image is kind of important here. If um, yeah. so, the, the summary or a preview. Because if I'm making it primary, why exactly? Is it because uh, it's an updated version? Because it's um, you know Christmas and I want to change you know the color of a, whatever it is. There's an intention behind why this file is primary, and I, I'm not sure we're mm. sharing this information here. Just the name. You know? Yeah, totally, totally. Like, is it, is that enough data to know? Yeah. Like, because if it was, you know, if, if the primary one should just be the newest one, then you have everything that you need to know. Wow. But if, like, yeah. your context to the files and things like that, 
um, that, you know, help you make the decision in the first place, then, Is it a day? You know, especially any visual decisions. Yeah. So there's something missing here. And of course, we don't have this information. I would love to ask uh, his name again. Jonathan. Um, Jonathan. Um, so it's kind of what's missing. It's beautiful right now, but maybe I'm, it's not helping me to choose, you know, which file should I make primary? So mm -hmm. mix things. Uh, we kind of make it better. It's easy to just select the primary uh, item of a, of a category. We can move it. We can tr talk about drag and remove it, but you can just select it with a drop down. That's good enough. Uh, and it's clear and there's no onboarding. You look at it, you kind of know where, where, what to do. Um, if you know yeah. what to do. If you don't know what to do. Well, I would add one more couple of things in here. Yeah. Um, what the deal is with this category? <laughs> so uh, this is just obviously text um, meta info, but you know, whenever you can provide a little bit more context on the things um, and what to do, I think that would be super appreciated. Uh, why? Well, I'm just thinking why should it be primary? Okay. Good. That's good. That's perfect. You know. Um, yeah. Select category, primary. There we go. Is it double just... button very ac is that a really accessible? Because he said something like a redo button. A redo would be just one click. Um, what do you think about a uh, toggle this just radio button? Um uh, well for, for radio buttons, I would usually use it when they're when it's not binary, right? I think that's the main thing. You use a radio button when there's more possibilities than two. Like a, then, or an on-off kind of thing. Exactly. I, 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 yeah, I think we're there now. No. And then it's big enough, I think, too, it's sort of hefty enough that you can visually scan it. Because if it was, you know, a radio button with like that little guy beside it, they're usually pretty little. Um, what about that, you know, primary? Just for fun, let me just... Uh, uh, shake you a little bit so this is primary let's say versus what i like about that in general is i can put it like that remove the icon and say make it sometime i prefer that you know yeah that's what the, that's actually what wordpress does with the categories yeah um because there's something missing here accessibility i'm switching from primary to what to not primary Mm -hmm. it's kind of weird here it's like yeah that's true yeah. conceptually a little bit funky yeah yeah so, i can see that so that's why this is kind of good and it's giving you the, the ability to have maybe a, are you sure or undo or whatever you can you know and it's it's it's, it's starting with a verb make it primary so mm -hmm. you know what it is exactly like we have like i just added select category right exactly. so make it primary uh, um, I don't know what would be the mechanism here. Maybe just switching uh, or maybe uh, just a model saying, are you sure this, you want to make this file uh, primary? I think that would be, I don't know if it's part of our workflow or not, but there's some time for, for uh, even that was not a binary thing. Pr yeah, pr that's true. It was not. Yeah. So now it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, now it's unique. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's a super good point. Like we just sort of went with the, toggle off the bat because we just assumed that was the thing right not because um, we're apple users yeah. yeah i don't know why they're putting toggles everywhere where just a radio button should could do the trick oh they got toggle it's toggle city, <laughs> it's toggle city. that's the design system <laughs> it's true go into a page list toggles and i kind of uh, like their toggles though I yeah, mean, yeah absolutely they're, it's a bit fun 
Exactly. <laughs> just everywhere. There's something uh, fun about a toggle. It's like very tempting to use <laughs> because there's something fun about it. <laughs> um, I, I never seen even Apple in general, you know, even in Mac OS and all put a radio button in general. I never seen that. I think it's a law. I think you can think it's Apple law. jail. If you don't. <laughs> um, good. Uh, so funny. let's summarize this. Um, let's go back to what's the problem, talk about it, and explain our hypothesis. I'll let you do it. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so our buddy Jonathan had an issue um, with a file screen. So there's a big mystery here around how to handle some manipulation of these files, um, making them into categories and um, defining if they're the primary file for that category. So what we did was we wrote, started off and wrote a problem statement. So as a software user, we have no idea what this file is about or this product is about. I need to manipulate the files so I can change the category and state as part of a process, part of a requirement. So we also wrote down a few kind of key questions that would inform the design if we were doing a full design. So one of the primary ones that struck us was around what level of stakes are at play. Um, is there a workflow around this process? These are really important because you handle them in different ways in the interface. So then we tried to um, make a solution uh, for the problem. So wrote down, down some of our, our, um, our uh, design rationale. And we asked, does this really warrant a table in the first place? So there's not that many items. There's few data points being displayed that we know of, and visual scanning is not really requ required, nor is comparison. Like, so does it really fit this mental model of a table in the first place? Does this actually make sense to use? So then we went in and we tried out a card view. So in our card view, we have our categories. Um, we we made them drag draggable into our different categories. And um, we elected to actually get rid of the toggle and instead make it into a button. Because like we, like we just <laughs> discovered, it's not actually a binary yes, no, on, off switch as such. Um, so this, this makes it a little bit more of a um, firm decision that you make. So that's what we came up with. What could be wrong with it? Probably a lot because we don't have that much context. <laughs> we're wrong, that's for sure. We don't but we're, we're we're super wrong. But maybe this is interesting <laughs> uh, to kind of look at and see how the how the th thought process goes. So, um, you know, uh, great question Benoit brought up was like, how do you know if something should be primary or not? Is there other metadata that helps you? Things like that. Um, there may be maybe some funkiness around when you first upload one of these, who knows? Mm -hmm. There could be tons wrong, but what we would do in real life would be lots of user testing and probably, you know, talking to the client <laughs> to understand the context. So the question was, uh, I did a table is, is, did I design it that is usable and all? I'll say, yeah, I think you did. Well, it's not maybe the right solution. Um, most dev think about, okay, I have a database. Mm. I just have to display it. What about the data a table? <laughs> you know? um, yeah, just think about something else. So maybe uh, what I'm, I'm, I, I love right now is just <clears throat> I make Kira not design a data table. It kind of win for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love a good data table. What can I say? Yeah. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kira. Again, if you have any problem like that, you can just comment, uh, get in contact with us. We'll find you. You'll know how to join, uh, contact us also. And we'll happily geek around your problem. So thank you and see you yeah. next week, Kira. Bye. Bye. And cut. Oh. <laughs> and know. remain live. I click stopping. <laughs>